Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel. I've got a few videos I'm so behind on recording. One of them is this gift with purchase from Space MK. And I'm sorry to say, I think the offer has already run out looking on the website just now. Um, I got mine probably about a fortnight ago and I don't know if you can see <clears throat> the seal. It's still unbroken. I haven't actually even opened the gift with purchase. Um, it wasn't the most brilliant of gifts with purchase in that I think you had to spend, um, I think, I think £240, which is a lot. Um, and I did think twice about it. The re I mean, I never, ever do these unless there is something that I already want to buy which substantially makes up the purchase money and what I did need was a new um, eyebrow regrowth serum and Augustinus Bada has brought one out which had quite good reviews it was a similar price i.e. very expensive about um, £85 I think to the price of the one that I ha had got last time which was quite effective but ran out and I've already noticed that having done good work with that um, my left hand eyebrow which is more patchy than my right was becoming patchy again. So um, cut a long story short there was an immediate um, 85 90 pounds I can't remember exactly that I was willing to spend and I was also interested in a couple of Chantecaille products from their holiday range. And we all know that they don't come cheap. So that was how the spend was made up. And um, we'll be looking at the Chantecaille <clears throat> items fairly soon. But anyway, here is the box. Let's just open it up. It's quite heavy. Um, I think there's supposed to be some ridiculous amount of product in here, kind of like £400 worth or so. Sorry, it doesn't fit in at all. It's a discovery kit, is what they call it. I've just taken out the um, kind of booklet that comes with... Um, now that I'm looking inside, let me just make you all giddy by lifting you up briefly to see what it looks like. Um, there are full-sized products and the more usual sample sizes. So here's a full-sized Paula's Choice 2% BHL gel exfoliant with salicylic acid um, to unclog and shrink enlarged pores. Uh, I don't have clogged pores, but I do have enlarged pores. Nothing seems to shrink them now. My um, efforts are really uh, concentrated on blurring them. Smooths and even skin tone, weightless gel softens skin. So I know Paula's Choice gets good reviews. Um, that's a full 100 mil. So that will be worth trying. Here's another biggie in a box. I think this is a candle, if I recollect. Ugh, I can't get in that at all. I'm still feeling a bit weakened after having had a bout of um, a virus. Not COVID this time, um, but another one, which frankly has been as bad. Gosh. This smells quite strong and my smell quite isn't quite up to. So it's a Joe Loves. That's Joe Malone as was. Um, now market since she sold Joe Malone to Esther Lauder as Joe Loves. Um, and I think this is probably a Christmas special. It's quite smoky and fruity at the same time. So I don't know what the... Um, fragrances are there and my nose is not sufficiently sensitive at the moment. I'm looking at the leaflet 
Ah, it's supposed to be grapefruit. Gosh, didn't get that. Bitter orange, lime and spearmint mingling with woodier and earthier tones. I have to say it's the wood that's coming through maybe with um, a bit of bergamot, I would have said, but that's not on the list. There we go. Um, the leaflet is saying, by the way, that I might have received a log fires one. I didn't. I received this one. Um, and the booklet shows it with a little lid, which would have been nice. But there we go. Well, I do love candles, so I'm not complaining. Um, just not in the best um, clear ability to smell at the moment. So then we've got an Amica Soul Food Nourishing Mask at 100ml. So that's a pretty um, full-sized number. I don't really know this make at all. Um, so I do love face masks. There's a lot here. Um, I do prefer really now the kind of sheet masks. Um, it takes me ages to get through one this size. Very jolly. Uh, I think that's probably most of the full size. We'll see as we go through. Here's um, a good one in a trial size. It's the eye cream from Augustinus Bader. I wish I wasn't sold on the products, but I do quite like them. They're horrendously expensive. I like the serum. Um, most of all, I have to say, but I think the rich cream is very nice as well. Uh, so excited to try the eye cream. Rose Ink, that's a new make to me. This is a clarifying toner. I say, oh, quite pretty. I don't use toner as much these days. I tend to use the Lizelle one or use a micellar water as the kind of toning element after my balm or cleansing oil or foam. Nice travel size anyway. Codely Retroversal Lift. I think I've had this before and didn't particularly love it. Um, but it's a decent brand. Pharmacy um, Green Clean. So this is a, ma uh, no, a cleansing balm, which is always good. Can't smell anything there. Whether that's because I can't smell properly or it doesn't have a fragrance. Nice little travel size. I do actually like cleansing balms now more than cream um, cleansers. I kind of need the extra moisturising, cleansing, I think, really. Uh, now we've got a Necessaire body serum. Now we're putting serums on our body, never mind our faces. Not sure that we need that. Be silent, here we go. Uh, a pillow time mist. This must have a smell, presumably. I think it is me still, not... not I did spray it, it does smell a little bit kind of lavendery, as you would expect. Again, very nice, generous travel size, not too heavy. Uh, that's by Bamford, the organic people. Biosance Squaline um, Vitamin C Dark Spot Serum. No, I did definitely need this. Nothing deals with my dark spots. Um, try as I might. I've tried all sorts of supposed miracle potions. CEO Glow, that's Sunday Riley. I am using on and off a Sunday Riley kind of trio of products. Um, I do like their cleanser uh, and I've got the vitamin C cream, which I would like a lot more if it wasn't in a pot. Um, what's the other one that I use? Oh yeah, the um, the resurfacing. I have had the CEO Glow products. 
This one is a face oil. I don't think I've used that before. So uh, vitamin C and turmeric. Worth trying. Drunk Elephant, another favourite um, with the bloggers at the moment. I don't think I've really loved any of the trial sizes I've had so far. They've been okay. This is a serum. I don't think I've tried that. I've definitely tried some of their cleansing products. Eve Lom used to love their cleansing balm. This is Radiance Repair Retinol Serum. This is one of these brands. I don't know if it's been taken over by one of the biggies, i.e. Estee Lauder, probably. Um, but I have noticed that the range has considerably expanded recently, so I suspect so. Um, this looks very glamorous packaging, yeah. Helps, doesn't it? Makes it look <laughs> all the more luxurious. I just want to try. Uh, I love the baby Nars. I call them guinea pig makeup. <laughs> I like to imagine guinea pigs with a little dressing table, um, putting on their makeup with these teeny tiny sizes that you can't get out the packet. Um, this is Orgasm, so it's the famous one, um, which the full size, I'm thinking, is probably about 30 odd. It's teeny tiny. For you to try the generally thought of as being most universally flattering um, shade of blusher, certainly put out by NARS, has a kind of gold sheen on top of a kind of mid-toned pink coral. Uh, it is very, very pretty. I think of it as the kind of equivalent of my favourite cream blusher, which is in fact by Tom Ford. Um, I don't think NARS ever did it as a cream, which is a shame. I mean, I guess they did the, the stick form. Gosh, there's so much in here. Huawei Detox Shampoo. You know that I'm never very interested in the um, endless hair products. Verso, another very expensive range. This is the serum. Tried one of their um, spot um, brightening creams, serums, which was very expensive and it really didn't make any difference, I have to say. Uh, 111 Skin, another serum. So I've got a lot of serums here to um, try, which is, is good. Soho Skin, thin layer over cleansed skin. So I'm guessing this is another serum, although it doesn't say so. It just calls it a treatment. Um... It's nice to try the serums in these small sizes because they're so expensive. Always happy to see a Sisley product because they're horrendously expensive. And I've never found a Sisley product that I didn't like, although I don't tend to buy them anymore. I used to use their um, daily moisturiser years ago. Um, Velvet Sleeping Mask with Saffron Flowers. So that's a overnight treatment. Always an optimist, illuminating primer. Interesting, not heard of that range. Always interested in primers. As you know, I've bought a few recently. Dr. Dennis Gross, um, here's another vitamin C firm and bright serum. Another good name. A moisturizer from Malin and Goats, um, which we see quite a lot. So a lot of products in here, <laughs> even more, even more, Chantecaille, <laughs> this is the um, Rice and Geranium Foaming Cleanser, so haven't tried any of their skincare products, I have to say, um, so small little trial size would be interesting, Hourglass um, Extreme Lash Mascara, quite a nice little size there. Again, I find myself quite liking using small sizes. You know that I love the Chanel Le Volume Mascara. 
and because I've bought a lot of Chanel recently and they've had uh, as part of their samples mascaras I've kind of stocked up on these mini sizes and for me they work quite well because I don't you know I keep my mascaras for too long basically um, whereas these little mini ones work quite well so here's a a decent size not um, as mini as the Chanel ones but I'm very picky with mascaras. Uh, Dr. Barbara Storm, that's another range I wish I didn't like. This is another um, serum, the Hyaluronic Serum from Dr. Storm is the best one I've ever tried, but ridiculously expensive. It's certainly not worth the expense. Look at the tiny little thing you're getting here. Very guinea pig size, baby guinea pig size, but that's because they're so expensive. Um, but I definitely will try that one. My goodness, so many serums here. I'll be a, a slick mess of serum if I try all these too quickly. Institute Esoderm. Um, nice range that you find in good chemists over here, all chemists in, in France. And this is, um, speaking of hyaluronic, a hyaluronic serum. So I haven't tried that one before. I think hyaluronic acid is one of the best scientifically evidenced aids for your skin. So kind of worth getting a good hyaluronic serum. Revive uh, Eye Mask. JVN Air Dry Cream. That's interesting. What does that mean? Does it mean dry air? Air Dry Perfection Diffuser. Nailed it. Gosh, I have to look that one up. Uh, there's more. It's never ending. Right, so it, it was a good gift with purchase, I have to say. Um, we're getting towards the end. We've got an Opalex um, Bond Intense Moisture Mask. That'll be for the hair again. Not too many hair products in here, which pleases me. Uh, a Borean CC Dull Corrector. This is an ice cream. I've had one of those before. Um, this is a brand that we see all the time. This is Midnight Renewal we're getting. That's another serum, isn't it? Yeah, another serum. Nighttime serum. Oskia Super R Retinoid Sleep Serum Capsules. Okay, so we're going to... No, I thought we were going to eat these. We're not. It's simply another serum that's delivered in a capsule format. Um, so, yeah, another serum. This is a very serum-heavy um, gift bag. Another mascara. Milk Rise Mascara. Okay. And then, finally, Tan Lux Light Medium. Facial tanning oil. And a Laura Mercier uh, Primer. I haven't read anything about that yet. That's quite a big sample size, actually. So I actually think that was a good selection, um, particularly if you're interested in serums. There are a lot of serums there, and most of them are very high end. So you are getting the chance to um, try out without um, laying out any extra money as long as you discipline yourself only to buy these gifts with purchase if you really were going to spend the money anyway um as i say i'm sorry i haven't managed to review that in time for any of you to take advantage of it um i know that there are lots of gifts with purchase going on to do with black friday so uh i will say in relation to space nk they do appear to be doing a very good advent calendar offer that is giving you quite a lot of good sizes of products. Um, if you like the advent calendar formula, I will say that I have bought an advent calendar for this year. So I will be trying to do the daily advent calendar open in December. Um, let's see how that goes. Anyway, I hope to speak to you soon with some more reviews. I hope you're all doing well and I will see you soon. Bye for now.